So let's take a look how it works when we want to create our app. Here in new app, we are going to click on canvas. That's the app we are going to learn. And it will show us the options to give the name and select the format of the app. So let's name it my app 001. Okay. And we can choose between tablet and phone formats. The tablet will be this one that's wider. It's bigger. It adapts to a bigger screen and the phone will be this one in the phone format. So it's uh, not so wide and it adapts better for a phone. It's very important to know how the users will use the app before you start and choose the format. Because if the users are going to use on their phone, outside, in the streets, in the fields, it's interesting to be a phone app. But if the users are using most of the time in a computer, in a desktop, in the office, it's better to choose the tablet format. It's possible to change the dimensions later, but it's better to start with the correct one because some configurations are tricky and are more difficult to change once you created the app. In this case, I'm going to choose tablet because the interface will be bigger and we can explore it easier. But in the app we are going to build later, it's going to be a phone format. Now let's click on create. And once I click on create, it will load the programming interface where we are going to be able to build our power apps. So let's wait a little and the interface will appear here in my browser. Once it loaded, it shows this. We see this blank space here. This is the canvas. So that's why we have, that's why it's called canvas app because we have the canvas where we can insert components on it, such as buttons, galleries to show data, forms to input data, images, take pictures, and everything else that you need to put here to create your app. So now that we have the interface here, in the next video, let's start exploring all the components of this interface. So I see you in the next class. This video is sponsored by the support of my subscribers who like and comment on the videos. This class is part of a full course I have on Udemy where I teach beginners how to build their first apps. So if you want to ensure lifetime access and see the entire course, I suggest you to join me on Udemy. If the course isn't for you, that's okay, but I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video and subscribe to this channel. Your engagement means a lot to me and motivates me to continue creating valuable content like this.